the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Here's a little quiz that you've got to figure out before we get to the end of the recap. What happened this week that made the team react like this? Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Find out in five minutes' time. Another entry into the recap. Monday morning on the show and the team was joined by some Logie nominees from Home and Away. The beautiful Ada Nicodemo, Emily Simons and Lee McGranger. Welcome! And I'm not going to lie, I'm a little disappointed that this didn't come up. Would I honey wrestle Ada Nicodemo? <laughs> yeah! here for a reason, which was to talk about the Logies. Can I just ask each of you ladies then, yep. why should we vote for you? But we weren't quite ready for how honest Lynn McGranger's response was. Because I'm 150 and I could be dead before this Logies. So, while I'm still alive, I'd quite like one. But judging by Lynn's energy at the Kirribilli Backyard Cricket Match... Hey! Whoa! I don't think she's going anywhere for a while. Quick, get it done! Fatality. <laughs> With the fairly shocking news this week that Victoria won't be hosting the Commonwealth Games. Six to seven billion dollars is well and truly too much. Fitzy Whipper and Kate immediately got the New South Wales Premier in the studio, Chris Minns. Welcome! Welcome hey guys. Good to be here. And then tried to convince him that New South Wales should host the Commonwealth Games. The Commonwealth Games. I know where this question is going. Yeah. For pretty much the whole interview. Could we still do this? Look, I don't think we could. Uh, don't let the athletes down. The timeline between now and 2026 is so tight. Good for Sydney. Yeah. Good for Minzy. It's not Yeah, bad. don't want to be in a situation where we promise something and then yeah. we can't deliver it. They even got Matt Shervington on board to ask him. Come on, Premier, bring it to New South Wales. I feel like you guys are <laughs> thinking that you're talking me into it, but you're not. <laughs> And when that failed, Fitzy just resorted to insulting him. And, you know, Weak. We've, we've got... I'm insult- no, sorry. No. <laughs> yeah, better luck next time, guys. Give me six months. What does that mean? Give me six months. <laughs> For the past few weeks, we've been putting people in the drawer to win Kate Ritchie's car. Jump in my car. It's Nova's Impreza for Kate Ritchie's Impreza. All you have to do is impress Kate. I got to meet Freddie Mercury. He signed the autograph book for me. Wow. But we didn't quite realise how low the bar is to do that. You need to impress Kate. What can you do? I can lick my elbow. Oh, Oh, wow. Oh. I can I can lick Kate's elbow. That's different, know. though. You can lick my uh, toes. I can lick it. And it's not like we haven't had talented people call in. I can sing like the Lindy on the... Wow. Yeah. It'd just be nice if the other people that called in, like Mustafa, for example... How are you going to impress Kate? ...at least tried. I'm going to sing Whitney Houston, I'll Always Love You. Here we go. Here we go. And, uh... Here we go. We'll always love you. You've thrown the tune out of the window. You've given up at the court. He's still going. Pull his mic down. Yet somehow, this still happened. Guess what, Mustafa? You're in the running. I mean, you've got to have some kind of standards, Kate. Are you serious? Thank you. One thing that the team neglected to do before we started this competition... 2019 Subaru Impreza sedan. Beautiful car. ...was to value Kate's car. How much Kate Ritchie's car as a celebrity vehicle would be worth. Luckily, Whipper has an old mate called George. That's me. (laughs) Who just happens to be a used car dealer. That's Kate Ritchie's car. Oh, yeah? Who's that? I don't know. And he was very helpful. Two-time uh, gold Logie winning Kate Ritchie. Oh, nah. Who cares about all these yuppies? Well, couldn't, couldn't agree with you more, mate. A retail prize is around 20. Thank you, brother. Yeah. God bless you, George. Oh, bless me. Now, before I go, I've got to answer the question to the quiz at the start of the recap. What happened this week that made the team react like this? Whoa! (laughs) Sorry. If your answer was Whipper mispronouncing a word while playing song, 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 you are correct. The word is... What? Wake! Whoa! (laughs) Sorry. Sorry. (laughs) 
<laughs> just the to- word is wake. It's wake. <laughs> wake. <laughs> I think it's best that we leave it there. Another entry into the recap. See you guys next one. A uh, week, week. I mean week. Oh. Fitzy and Whiffo with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.